Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the beta. Here's seven things you might not know. And I stress the might, since I know there's massive amounts of tech foraging happening at the moment. Just want to help out because, you know, most of us are still trying to figure out this beautiful game and some of us need more help than others. Or maybe I'm alone with that. First off, you can faint into counters. Well, you can faint into just about anything really, but it seems that one of the greatest mind games in this beta has been the faint into counter. And if nothing else, it looks kind of impressive, so either do them or watch out for them. Also, who knew this game had stealth? These days I've noticed you can <laughs> sneak right by some people at their home plate in Dominion. It'll probably stop being the case once people catch on to what Dominion's all about, but for now, boosting their point and fending them off is a pretty good strategy. Speaking of, if you're having trouble killing people, try focusing and throwing them off the point. If you're good enough at pushing them off an already captured point, you can constantly heal yourself, making you really hard to kill. Oh, and this is something I don't see people often do, but you can parry side flankers if you're in a tight spot. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but it seems that if two people hit you within the same parry, you automatically parry them both, regardless of whether the second dude delayed his hit or not. You can do a delayed heavy attack, which will trick your opponent while still maintaining the combo's momentum, which can be useful if you can get the timing right. The environmental hazards can be, well, a hazard, and you can stumble people into them with an R2, not just throws, and you can also stumble them with a counter, which is a nice surprise. Also, don't worry about the fire burning you or the geysers hurting you when you walk near it. There's an invisible wall. I'm assuming the same is true about the spikes, but the one time I noticed them, I got pinned on it. Here's something probably a lot of you know already, but just in case, instead of doing the forward guard break or the normal one, if you're near a wall, it might be a good idea to throw them on it. They get stunned, and depending on your hero, you can probably fit in an R2 before they recover from it. Well, that's it. I hope some of you heard something you didn't know. If not, that's okay. Pretty sure this game has a lot more to discover. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. I'll be uploading some warning gameplay footage and maybe a few tip videos. Maybe we'll see where the wind blows. Also, I'd love some feedback on how I can improve these videos. I just decided to upload stuff about For Honor. As a side note, I never really expected to like the game as much as I did. And despite some of the connection issues during this beta, I've been having a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.